All right, it is time once again for some more card sharks action here on the channel. And Jose comes back with a total of fifteen thousand eight hundred dollars. How are you doing, sir? I'm doing great. They had a good old time doing card sharks. All right. Uh, didn't uh, Casey is? I mean, Jose has not won a card yet in this run, but maybe that can change today as we welcome in his challenger, Casey Kearney. How are you, sir? I'm good. How are you doing? I'm doing fine. Uh, if Casey looks familiar to you folks, it's because uh, we just had him on Wheel of Fortune yesterday, our daytime show, that is, and he did pretty good, picking up a little over $8,800. Uh, we'll see if the luck of the cards goes your way here on this sh on the card charts here, sir. So let's play. Alright, Jose, our champion, plays the red cards. Casey's our challenger, so he plays the blue cards. Alright. Best of luck to both of you. And here we go with question number one in round one. And our champion, Jose, gets to start things off. Alright, Jose, we surveyed 100 priests. We asked them, have you seen a pope in person? How many of them said that they've seen a Pope in person? Hmm. Well, as a... As a Catholic myself, I... I don't think many would actually get to see a Pope in person, but... It's... I, I think it's low, but not too low. I'm gonna go with 30. I'm gonna say 30. Alright, Casey's the actual number higher or lower than 30? Way lower. I know that for a fact. Pope is kind of famous. It's very rare for people to actually to meet and see the Pope, so I'm going to say it's way lower. Well, plus with how busy the Pope usually is, if you want to try to even line up with him, good luck. Actual number of priests who said that they've seen the Pope in person is... 50 of them! You split, underestimated humanity, Casey. Flip down the middle. All right, our champion, Jose, gets to go to the board first, and he's going to do so with a seven. You can play it or change it. I would like to change it, please. Very well. And we are going to change it with a king. Much better. Indeed, we're going lower. Lower than the king. It's a three. We're going on. We're going higher. Higher than the three. A five. Hmm. Tough call, but I'm gonna go for it and go higher. Higher than the five. A nine. And we are freezing. Gonna oh. stop right there. Putting you one card away from winning this first game and not letting Casey get a chance at the cards. We are, however, going to let Casey answer this next question. Alright. Uh, this one was asked to 100 single women, Casey. We asked them. Have you ever rehearsed a phone conversation to impress a man? How many of them said that they've rehearsed a phone conversation to impress a man? It's very true, because I know some women are very nervous. That's about medium number. So I'm going to say 56. 56. All right, Jose, higher or lower than 56? Now, while that is true, they don't have the pressure of, me of talking to, to a man face-to-face. They're talking to him on the phone, so it's slightly less pressure, but you are right, Casey. However, I will say it's a little lower. You're gonna say lower. Actual number of single women who said that they rehearsed a phone conversation to impress a man is... 32. It is lower. Ooh. And you can play the 9 or change it. You better believe I'm gonna change that 9, please. Gonna change the 9. It is... Now... A free higher to become or to win the first game, excuse me. It's a king. And Jose, our champ, off the out and flying in game number one, taking the first game at a hundred dollars. All right. Well, Casey already knows what he has to do, and uh, Casey, hopefully you'll get to touch your cards in this next game, but we'll see what happens. Jose, we're going to start with you here in the second round, and here is your question. 
And this is an audience poll question that we have for you. All right, Jose, we surveyed, uh, we had, we got 10 school bus drivers to join us for this taping, and they're, they are standing in contestants row behind me, so drivers, please stand up and show yourselves. Thank you very much. All right, Jose, before the show, we asked them if they could use earplugs more than throat lozenges on their job. How many of them said that they could use earplug more than throat lozenges? All right, before I say my answer, let me just say that we've all received the sad news that our fr dear friend Alice Paris has unfortunately lost his faithful companion, Ginger. He has owned her for over 10, or 10 years, and he unfortunately has said his goodbyes to her, and everything I win here tonight will be a tribute to him and Ginger. May, they, may Ginger rest in peace. Yes. And as for the question, I think the earplugs are, I think they're better than the lozenges because they don't have to deal with the trouble of screaming at the students and potentially losing their voice. So I'm going to say seven. Seven of them. Now, if Paras's dog really had lived ten decades, that would be a really old dog, wouldn't it? I, I, I'm, I was talking too fast. Yeah, yeah, we, we know what you meant. I'm sure Paras knows what you meant. Uh, Casey, higher or lower than seven? Lower than seven. Actual number of school bus drivers who said they could use yeah. earplugs more than throat lozenges is... Okay. Seven of them. Jose got it exactly right. All right, that's a $100 bonus for you, Jose. Oh, hey, Katie. And you get to crack the cards hey, again. You've got a nine. I can't believe I nailed that question. We're going to change it. All right, changing yeah. the nine. It's now an ace. Okay. Okay. Way better card. We are going lower. Lower than the ace. It's a six. Regardless, I've got a good base card to go back to, should I screw up? We're going higher. Higher than the six. It's a seven. Okay, freeze. Gonna freeze right there. Come on, Jose! Alright, two, Jose's two cards away, and Casey, you get this next question. Alright. Uh, this is a bit of a long one, Casey, so pay attention to me. We surveyed 100 single women. We asked them, would you go on a date if you were invited on a date to a concert by their favorite rock star by a guy who is a real nerd? And to keep this short and simple in, in my best Jim Perry impression, how many of them said yes? <laughs> Gonna go with 30. All right, Jose, higher or lower than 30? Yeah, how many said they would go, they were invited to a concert by their favorite rock star, but by a dude who's a nerd? Uh, hmm, that's a tough one. But I'm just going to go with the odds and say higher. Just a little higher. Going to say higher. Actually, I'm a single woman who said they'd go on a date, whether if they were invited on a date, uh, whatever, is 45, that's higher. Well, the game's not over yet, Casey. You might still get a chance. We're going to change Jose 7, and it is now a 6. Oh, okay, a little better. A little better. We're going higher. Higher than a 6? It's a 5. Oh. And Casey, for the first time today, finally gets to touch his cards. Let's see what we have for you. It's a jack. Lower! Lower! Lower than the jack. God, Casey. God, God, An eight. eight. Did a freeze on that eight? Jeez, Casey. You know, you you know, know Casey, you are the most enthusiastic contestant I have ever had so far this season on, on the show. Hey, that, was, that was what I was about to say. Yeah. All right, uh, Jose, we have an educated guest question for you here. The most shoes shined in eight hours on record was how many pairs? Oh, wow. 
very, very interesting question. <laughs> uh, so I think this is like a kind of a kind of a world record I'm making here. Hmm. Most shoes shined in eight hours. Hmm. This really is a tough one. Hmm. Well, it's eight hours, so I would think it would at least be more than a hundred, so... Hmm. I'm gonna take a stab at it and say... 251. 251. I know for a fact that shoe shining takes a long time, so it's way lower. Alright, he's going to say lower than that. Alright, the, the most shoes shined in 8 hours on record is... 210 pairs! Alright, so... Alright, so let's... You got to go. Alright, first let's pull out the calculator. For 8 hours, that is about 26 pairs per hour. See, this show is both fun and educational. <laughs> Anyways, uh, Casey wants to change the 8, so we will do that. And it is now a 6. Ooh. That's not higher. It has to be. Higher than the six. A nine. Come on. Lower. Lower oh than the nine. Oh, gosh. It is a seven. You're one oh. card away from tying this up. Freeze. You're going to freeze on that seven. You are oh. one card away from tying this match and sending us to sudden death. And Casey, you get the final question in this round. Someone has to win on this play of the cards. So, okay. controls yeah. very okay. critical here. Okay. I wish you good luck, and I'm praying to God that I don't have to play. Well, alright. Alright, Casey, we found 100 women serving time in prison. We asked them if they're wearing makeup right now. How many of them said that they are indeed wearing makeup right now? Anyone. 31. 21, I saw 21. 21, alright. <clears throat> Jose, higher or lower than 21? I'm going to say slightly higher. Just a little bit. Slightly higher. Actual number of women serving time in prison who said that they're wearing makeup right now is... 35, it's higher. Now, Jose, you have a decision to make. You have to flip over two more cards while Casey has to flip over one. He has the advantage there, but where you have the advantage is you can change your card. He can't. What do you want to do? This is tough. I've got the all-powerful option to change my card, or I could pass it over and have him play a hard card here. Yeah. Give it to me. I know he's going to win. I've got to be honest. I have, I have the option to change it, and I cannot pass that up. I'm playing it. So he's playing, but now, do you want to change the six? Yes, I do. All right. The six is now. It's a four. Okay. Go higher. Now, remember, there's no freezing in sudden death. He says higher than the four. It's a queen. Well, hold on, Casey. There's the old saying, don't count your chickens before they hatch. If this is a queen or higher, then we go to sudden death. Lower than the queen. It's a two. Jose is still the champion. All right. All right, Jose, you're going to go to the money cards in just a moment. Casey, did you have fun? All right, well... We'll try to have you back on another show. Jose is the champion once again. Off to the money cards with you. Casey, I will say this. You did put up a good fight in round two. You came close. How did I even put up a fight? I just, I just let you win. <laughs> uh, 
Maybe, maybe not. Um, either way, we play great. You, good game. Good yeah, good you game. both played a good yeah, game. Okay. All right. Uh, Jose's been here three other three previous times, so I don't think we need to explain to him how this works. But I will tell you though that you get at least one Joker for winning the match, and that Joker, of course, gives you at least one chance at winning a brand new car. That All part right. we get to in a moment. But first, we want you to try to win as much money as you can here in the money cards. Hopefully, thirty-two thousand dollars. Are you ready? Yes, I am. I already have 300 for Alex and Ginger. Let's get some more. All right. Uh, your four-day total, by the way, before this part is $16,100, and you're starting off with a queen. We're not going to change it, but we're playing strategically. We're only going to bet half that the next card is lower. All right. Going to go $100 lower than the queen. It's a five. You're up to three hundred dollars. Okay. We're gonna go minimum bet fifty dollars that the next card is higher than the five. Okay. Fifty bucks higher than the five. Some of you may call it low. I call it strategy. Well, that's true. It's a deuce. Well, All right. Strategy. So you held back, but you have a very good card. Well, might as well bet it all, and we're going higher. All right. Whole thing higher than the deuce. It's a four. So we're going to move that up to the next level, and we'll put another $400 into your total, into your bank account here for $900. You still have all three spare cards available. This is a good card, but once again, we're playing strategy. 750 then the next card is higher. All right, he's going to go $750 higher than the four. Let's see it. It's a seven. 1650 Now would be a good time to use one of those spare cards. Let's change that seven. All right, with one, two, or three. We're going to go with number three. Jason, more rent money coming for you. Oh, I didn't even say climb a tree. It's still uh, the same thing. Anyways, you have a queen. Oh, well. Well, Jason, expect the $100 of rent money coming your way. Anyways, we're going to bet $1,500. Oh. Oh, no. Well, um, it's 1000 It's okay. 1, yeah, I... Lower. Yeah... All right, a thousand lower than the. Yeah. All right, we have to twenty six fifty. And no way am I gonna. Well, I cannot change it anyway. Okay, we're gonna bet. Hmm. We're just gonna bet one thousand that the next car is higher. All right, a thousand dollars higher. Yes, sir. All right, thirty-six fifty. We'll move that jack to the big bet, and seventeen—no, eighteen twenty-five. Excuse me, it's the minimum that you have to bet on this. Of course, I can bet more, and I'm going to do it. We're doing a very big bet here. We are going to bet three thousand five hundred that the next card is lower. Ooh, he's taking a big risk here. That's why this is called the big bet. Worst case scenario, I've got $150, but I'll take it either way. Yeah, $150 would be nice, but we want you to end up with $7,150, and you will if this card is lower. Yes! There you go. All right. And Jose, you're not done yet. You get a chance at a brand new car here. Yeah, sadly, I cannot find that second joker, but here we go. All right, you've won seventy-four fifty so far today, and you have the one joker. And if you put it on the right card, you get a Subaru Impreza WRX four-door. Ooh, very nice looking car there. <coughs> yep. 
very nice indeed, and it is worth $25,791. All right. Now, before I ask for your selection, Jose, um, we're actually going to give you a bit of extra money. Because on one of those, I typed in 1000 as one of your bets when you actually said 1500 So, here's what I'm going to do. That 7450 that you've won to this point, I'm going to give you that 500 that you should have had from that correct bet earlier. So your total winnings for today are now, at this point, are now at 7950 Okay. All right. So, so we're going to be fair to you and give you that money that you should have had. And next, from now on, I'm gonna try, I'm gonna try to speak fast with my bets. All right. So you're now at seventy nine fifty, and let's see if you can find that car card. Where do you think it's hiding? Who number six? Well, Casey played a great game. I'm gonna give him respect. Number six. Gonna go with number six. Does Jose drive away in that Subaru? No, he does not. Five. Where should he've gone? Oh. Ah, oh, you should have climbed Jason's tree. Again. But I don't have to pay him rent money. I already got to pay him a hundred dollars. Well, that's true. All right. So, uh, Jose, in four games. You're now at twenty-three thousand seven hundred and fifty dollars. And that is seven thousand nine hundred and fifty on one day. Seventy-nine fifty, correct. Bringing your. It's all going to Alex and Ginger. All right, so your four-day total is twenty-three thousand seven hundred and fifty dollars. If you win your next match, then you will retire undefeated and more than likely qualify for our tournament of champions. And folks, that does it for this edition of Card Sharks, and that also does it for the first half of our season. We'll start the back half next time around with Jose trying for his fifth and final game. We'll see you then.